welcome back to a uh, new video for this week. Um, so, uh, back from Arizona, um, as you guys probably heard from the uh, live streaming. Um, so, uh, I was getting ready to uh, charging my uh, Phantom battery as we speak right now. So, while I'm charging it, getting ready to go fly out on a uh, location um, for another video for you guys, um, I thought I would go ahead and do um, a little quick update on my uh, DJI Phantom. Um, so this video is going to be about the top five um, modifications or um, uh, things I think that uh, every Phantom Standard um, uh, owner should have. Um, they're really not modifications, but I think they're um, good products that I think uh, everybody should consider getting um, that don't come with the DJI Standard Phantom. Um, so we'll start off with the uh, with the first one. So um, number one. Um, the uh, the remote. Um, so with the DJI Phantom standard remote, um, the arm that your mobile phone clamps onto is uh, it's actually made out of plastic, uh, and it's kind of a, a little flimsy. Um, so you'll notice if you have a DJI or you maybe have seen other videos that the uh, the phone kind of wobbles a little, little bit um, when you have it on here, um, and you know. I've noticed by just by um, changing this out to this metal one instead of that plastic one, um, that really helps out a lot. Um, it keeps the phone um, a lot more stable, um, and uh, it just it, it feels better in there. Um, now, eventually, I'm going to be doing another modification where I'm going to actually be um, adding a, a tablet holder because I do want to use um, a tablet. It's got a bigger screen, so I can see um, a lot better picture. Um, so that will be coming soon, hopefully. Um, but in the meantime, I wanted something that was going to hold my phone uh, because, you know, it's like, you know, it's a cell phone. and It's like a $400 phone, so I don't want to drop it. Um, so, you know, and I don't want it to be uh, come loose. So anyway, so this is made out of metal. Um, it's like an aluminum metal, so it's not really super heavy. Um, and I'll leave uh, links and uh, descriptions for everything uh, down below in the description of the video. So if you guys feel like it, you want to buy it, you're more than welcome to. Um, I don't have an affiliate link anymore with Amazon. Um, so whatever you buy on Amazon is buy your, your own. So that's uh, number one, is um, upgrading to the, uh, to the metal arm um, if you're just going to use the standard um, cell phone clip. Um, number two that I suggest also comes with the uh, remote as well. Um, so with the DJI Phantom Standard, um, you don't automatically get a neck lanyard. Um, so I am just using a standard neck lanyard. I'm probably going to get a better one that's got like padding on the back so it kind of helps my neck and it's not so uh, discomforting. But this thing is a lifesaver, guys. So um, it's really easy to attach. You can see right there, there's a little hole for the lanyard. And all you do is you just clip it right in there, like so. Okay, and then when you're out filming, um, you can just put this guy right over your head, like so, um, just like that, and then that way you can hold your remote just like this. Um, you know, so just in case I drop it or something, or I need to fiddle with the uh, Phantom or something like that, um, I can just reach down, I can do that really super quick, and uh, it's it's a good lifesaver. Again, I'm going to be upgrading to a, a better one that's padded on the back. Um, this is just one I just went to the store and bought really quick, just, you know, a couple bucks. Um, you can get these at just about anywhere, um, but I tell you what, if you've got one of these, use it. It will definitely help. So that's my uh, number two is a neck lanyard. Um, so number three also has to do with sort of kind of the remote, um, but this is more of um, distance and range. So I bought this before my trip to Arizona, um, and this is a parabolic um, antenna. Uh, so what this does is actually it's it's really cool. So I had noticed um, with just the the stock antenna on this remote, um, it was kind of losing the Wi-Fi signal from the phone, and the controller was sometimes kicking in and out. Um, and then I did some research and found that uh, you know the antenna it's a 5.8 gigahertz, um, but sometimes the Wi-Fi from the antenna can actually um, interrupt um, and not uh, reach out as good and this is also a little bit of a range extender so um, I've noticed I've gotten I think the stock says 0.6 miles so a little over half a mile um, with this I'm getting probably closer to about a mile um, you know it just depends on what interferences in the hour you know uh, power lines you know um, cell towers you know the, the radio towers those are all gonna you know change and affect the way that the uh, 
remote is going to react. Um, so it's really easy. Um, and this is actually, it's made out of copper. The one that I made, I made it just out of a solo cup and I put some aluminum foil and it helped a little bit, but I noticed a, a lot better range with this. So it's actually, it's really, really super easy to put on. So when I put my cell phone on and I just slip this guy over like this and it just sits down right like that on the remote. And then so all that Wi-Fi or all that signal coming from the remote is going straight to the copter. And again, I notice a uh, huge, and again, it just, it sits right there. You don't have to screw anything on or anything like that. It just slips right over. Um, I may do the Arg Tech. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do that modification or not. I don't know if I really want to get into the remote and uh, start messing with stuff. Uh, just because this is a huge investment for me, um, and I don't want to ruin my investment. So that's going to be number three, is a parabolic, at least a minimum, a parabolic um, antenna um, uh, range extender. This will definitely help out. Um, it's a lot less expensive than the Arc Tech um, right off the bat if you're just looking for a simple solution. I think this thing cost me like 12 bucks, um, and I got it off of Amazon. I have Prime, so I got it in like two days. It was really, really super quick. Um, and as you can see, it doesn't get in the way of my phone. My phone can still sit right there with no problem whatsoever. Um, and I've noticed I'm getting a lot better reception to the drone while it's up in the sky and a lot better range as well. So that's number three, parabolic antenna. Um, okay, so number four, um, what I suggest getting is, uh, so on the Phantom, the, the standard gimbal lock, um, this is it. It's kind of a little bulky. Um, it's made of this heavy plastic. Now this is great when you're going to travel long ranges, like when I went to Arizona and I flew on a plane, because uh, there's turbulence and things are moving around. Uh, so this is really good. I do don't throw this away. Keep this with you. It's great for traveling. Um, but when you're not traveling and I'm just going around town or I'm just going a little ways, um, that's not too far. Um, I suggest getting one of these little gimbal guards. It's really really so now the gimbal still moves the camera still moves a little bit back and forth um, but it's not going to move completely the, the camera up and down so and this is a fairly inexpensive thing I would think it was only like a few bucks really cheap off of Amazon but it's really quick to take on and off and it's, it's, so it looks just like this and it's by this newer or newer company whatever it is I don't know and so this part just locks onto the camera's um, front and then this locks onto the, uh, the stabilizer itself and I'll show you it's it's really super easy to put it on and off um, so all you got to do is just go like this grab your camera and then just put it boom right up there push it in a little bit and you're done and it's it's super super easy and you can see you know it, it does move around a little bit um, but it's not a lot and and again if you're just gonna be traveling around town um, you know not very far um, not on really like super bumpy roads or anything like that, then I suggest just uh, getting a couple of those. They're not really expensive. They're super cheap and uh, super easy to take on and off and uh, make your life a lot easier. Again, um, keep the stock gimbal lock um, because when you're traveling, this makes sure that that gimbal and that stabilizer stay tight. Um, so keep this guy because it's really good for long distance. So that's going to be number four is the, uh, the gimbal um, lock. Um, so number five and the last modification update or upgrade um, that I suggest that every DJI Phantom um, standard Phantom uh, owner should have is uh, this is a um, camera. Uh, basically, it uh, it helps with the uh, the landing. So if I come in for a rough landing, um, this will protect. The, the gimbal, I guess they call it a gimbal protector. Um, it's made out of uh, carbon fiber, um, so it's like super, super light, and it's it's pretty durable. And uh, so the way this guy works is you just um, uh, you put it right here, and it actually, if you look on, uh, if you have a Phantom, you'll see right there. There's that little groove here, and there's another little groove on the other side. So I'll put it on really super quick here, just to show you guys, and. Uh, this is a, a great little um, invention somebody came up with. Um, so that way, in case you have a, um, you know, rough landing or, you know, when you're on rocks or something like that, uh, because, you know, I, I film in different locations. You guys have seen that. 
Um, so it's really easy to install. You can keep it on all the time if you want, um, or you can just, you know, add it when you want. And it just sits right there, and you can see that, you know, it protects your uh, your camera. So from a, a rough landing. Now, if, obviously, you know, you're going down. <laughs> you know, if you motor went out or something like that, um, it's probably going to help a little bit, but you're still going to have some damage. And it, it, again, it just slides right in, just like that. So you can keep it in your box or your case or whatever, and you can take it with you, um, or just leave it on, and you can slide it on and off whenever you want. It's made of carbon fiber. Um, that was pretty cheap and inexpensive too, not that bad. Um, so that's going to be number five, is going to be a, a, I don't know what you call it, either a gimbal protector or a, a gimbal lock, whatever you want to call it, um, or a cambric protector. Um, so that's my uh, my five like uh, simple, quick modifications um, that I think that every um, DJI Phantom Standard 3 owner should really uh, look at when you first buy your Phantom. Um, they're cheap, inexpensive upgrades um, that are really easy to install. You don't need to be technical to do it, um, but it will help you in the long run. And then if you want to upgrade further, you know, after that, you know, it's something to do. So uh, again, so number one um, was the uh, metal arm. Uh, number two, neck lanyard. Number three, the parabolic uh, antenna range extender. Great. I love it. Um, number four again was going to be that uh, gimbal guard lock. And then uh, number five was your uh, camera or gimbal protector um, from, from landing. Uh, I don't know what the technical name of it is anyway. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this short video. Um, I'm getting ready to, uh, like I said, the uh, battery's almost done. Probably got about another, oh, let's see, it's on its last bar right now. So I've got probably about another 15, 20 minutes for it to charge. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. If you really enjoyed the video, guys, hit the subscribe button for me down there at the bottom. That really does help out the channel. And you'll notice the little bell next to it. If you click the bell, that will let you guys know when I have new videos for you guys every week that are available for viewing. And uh, typically, I usually update on uh, Thursdays and uh, Fridays, um, sometimes on the weekends. And I usually have a live stream on Mondays uh, if I can get to it. Um, so on the live stream in the last one, I asked you guys to send in your clips. I'd like to do a video once a week of the subscriber videos um, of your drone videos. So send those to me. Um, just send them to Mike's Drones More at gmail.com. So that's Mike's Drones More at gmail.com. I'll put that down in the description as well for you guys. Um, also, we also have a new Patreon page. Um, so at the end of the video, you'll see up in the corner, there will be a little icon for Patreon. So if you guys enjoy the channel, if you want me to keep making videos for you, um, please help support the channel. Um, even a dollar, a couple dollars really helps me out. Um, that helps with better equipment, um, being able to do uh, more drone reviews and uh, drone giveaways. Um, I know everybody loves a giveaway, including me. So... Um, yeah, if you guys could help support in any way, um, that absolutely helps, so I do appreciate it. And again, as always, um, thank you for all the wonderful comments, all the new subscribers, um, all the viewers of the uh, channel. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. And uh, so as always, guys, let's keep our drones up in the air and flying high. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks for tuning in, and have a great week.